All right, welcome back everybody. This is Miss Murphy again. And um, I just went through two layers of my memory abstraction for my abstract watercolor painting. Um, I have done at least three of these watercolor techniques. Um, and what I mean by layers is that I applied my first layer, I let it dry. I applied my second layer, I let it dry. And now I am on my third layer. So um, in order to create a sense of depth in your painting and a little more variety throughout, you want to make sure that you are creating layers. It's gonna give us a sense of depth. It's also created a lot of areas of interest that I can draw inside of when I start adding my abstract um, textural drawings to this. Um, so you can kind of look at it closely now and see that you can see a lot of layers in here and it's not just one flat wash. So you might just want to start with a flat wash and then start building up with more of your wet on wet. Um, and then uh, start beginning to add your dry brush. Um, and you can even repeat some of these steps as you go throughout some of these techniques. So I am going to now just see what else I want to add here. I'm still going with my color scheme here, but I want to start adding a, another layer to this painting. And I want to go on top of this here a little bit. So like I said in my in the previous video that um, the reason why we're drawing it in between is also so that we can see the layers underneath and we can create a sense of depth. So usually in my last layer, I like to go along edges and just create more gradations. So here I am gonna go along this edge here and as you can see, I've enhanced that edge a little bit more. So I can really, really see that now. And I'm also gonna take my blue on the other side. So I use a little less water as I go through each layer, especially the last one. Um, you might even wanna take a smaller brush and just, you know, go through and see like areas that you wanna pull out, you know. I'm just gonna go in and just make my darker values a little more, um, you know, enhanced with this smaller paintbrush, enhance that a little bit. And as you can see, it's really pulling it out, bringing out my, and I sometimes will even paint along edges like this. You can see with my my little brush if you don't have a little brush just use the very tip of your wider brush that you were using before but i'm just showing you the difference now that i am even going to go in here i'm going to create some gradations from dark to light but i'm really focusing on getting some of these edges darker like so and I mean, you could, if you wanted to add a more of a, um, you could add more wash, but I like to do more of the dry or less water in my, you know, the dry brush in the last, or just go in and just really pull out those darker values in your last layer. If you wanna add a little more dry brush, you could. Like if I wanted to go on here and just, you know, play a little bit with my purple and I'm just adding it on the edge here, like so. And I think you get the idea. So when you feel like you've completed your composition, I'm gonna add, you know, a little bit more. I like to turn it around and see where I'm going. Um, I want to go in here. I'm going to add another. So if you want to really now just like add some darker areas, go in there and, you know, maybe even create some abstract forms or shapes throughout your painting like I'm doing now. Um, so I'm just going to 
Let's see where my paint goes. Painting another little swirl here. And this is where if you wanted to just, so I'm even doing a little gradation on this side, but then I'm letting the paint and the texture really kind of blend together there. This is where you can see what things you can put. So I pulled out a lot of these darker areas. I'm still gonna do a little bit more down here because I feel like this area is kind of empty on the corner here. I'm not using a ton of water because I'm trying to build this last area as being really kind of dark. And I'm just gonna, I'm just following the shape of the watercolor that I already did, making some abstract forms in here. So organic shapes, natural shapes. I'm not trying to make anything look like a geometric form. I'm just letting the paintbrush follow some of the shapes of the edges that I've already created prior to this. And every now and then I do a little bit of water just to blend it in so that it looks more organic and natural in the process. So you can see what I added on this edge here, just a little bit of a watercolor edge there. So now you can see it's really coming out with more depth and layers in my painting. So this is really where you want to go for your next step. Um, this is really part one. Um, you know, you could even let this dry another time, go back in and pull again some out some of those darker areas out. Um, and I will be uploading another video, um, but you really wanna see those layers. You really wanna see the depth, light to dark values. Use the gradation, using the texture, the dry brush. Drying between each layer is really gonna give you the most potential for your abstraction as we go on to the next step, which is going to be adding with our um, pen or our Sharpie um, some textural and abstract forms throughout. So um, good luck with this first, the first three parts.